What's up everybody? Ryan Walsh from the Rec Center here. We're gonna do uh, learn to play soccer at home. So I'm gonna cover three things about the sport of soccer, passing, shooting, and dribbling. And uh, I'm gonna give you some demonstrations and some tips. Obviously, if you have somewhere to play or a goal or people to play with, that's great. But if you're by your own and you wanna try to play some soccer, uh, I'll give you some tips. So the first thing we're gonna do is juggling. Juggling can be used to um, kind of work on your shooting. A lot of the best players, when they warm up before games, all they do is juggle. Uh, famous player Diego Maradona was notorious for juggling by himself in the middle of the field and kicking it as high up uh, to the top of the stadium. So um, I'm gonna demonstrate all three and thanks for watching. So that was juggling. I'm not very good at juggling. Uh, some tips I would say is to try to lock your ankle, try to keep it not too high, not too low. So maybe from your waist to your head. But honestly, a lot of juggling is just learning and practicing. And you know, you, the ball goes in random places and it helps your uh, different parts of your body warm up and adjust to different parts uh, of your body where you're gonna have to move in order to shoot and score and pass and trap the ball. So. Um, definitely keep working on it. I'm working on my juggling as well and getting better every day. Uh, next thing we're going to do is dribbling. So if you have a patch of grass or a driveway or something, um, you can basically practice dribbling anywhere. It helps to have some kind of cones or objects, maybe other balls. Uh, I got some extra discs, frisbees laying around, so I'm going to throw them out in the field and show you some dribbling. Uh, really. With dribbling, you just kind of want to work on being as fluid as possible. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate some one touches, two touches, and also working on the inside of the foot and the outside of the foot. So uh, let's see how that goes. And then lastly for passing, the best thing you can do is actually find a wall and you can work on passing against the wall. Um, again, using the inside of your foot, using the outside of your foot. If you don't have a very good weak foot or opposite foot, I'm right footed so my left foot isn't very good. You can really practice getting good at kicking the ball with the outside of your foot um, or the outside of your foot with the right if you're trying to pass to the right. So if I'm trying to pass to the left, obviously that's a natural movement. But if I'm not a great passing left and then I have a teammate to the left, uh, you can actually pass with the right side of your foot um, and get that little pass out there. So it's really good practicing with both feet inside, outside, and just keep working on it. I'll do another demonstration once we find a wall. What's up everybody? So we found a wall. Uh, so I'll give some demonstrations in a minute here. Um, on just practicing your passing against the wall. Uh, as far as advice, some people like to lock their ankle down for more crisper passes. Also using your opposite foot you're not kicking with to kind of aim the ball and set it up that way. Um, and then use your kicking foot to kind of come through like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, personally, I would just do what comes naturally and just start kicking it against the wall uh, as many times as you can. I would definitely start a little closer in in the beginning so you can get more control and touch on your passes. And then as you get more confident, you can kind of scoot it back and then really start ripping the ball a little harder. And then wherever the ball kind of comes, you can trap it. Um, and then just kind of randomly kick it and trap it and do whatever, use whatever body part makes sense for when the ball's coming back to you. Because the further you are, it's gonna be a little more 
uh, powerful, a little more random. So uh, yeah, let's try it out. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week for basketball. Take, stay safe, everybody.